Nebraska, and Florida State has this penchant for rising to the occasion when they are a underdog on the road. Now, you go into Lincoln, you figure, well, no matter who's playing Nebraska, they're going to be the underdog, but Florida State says, we love this situation. And once again, it was the Seminoles who pulled off the upset, winning 17-13. Tom Rathman, handoff, going 55 yards early, though, for Nebraska. Didn't look so good in the first quarter for Florida State because the Huskers led it 7-0. But here comes Florida State right down the field. Sophomore quarterback Don McManus to Darren Holloman. Slant pattern, 15-yard TD. We are tied at 7. Nebraska gambling fourth and one. The pitch out to Doug DeBose. The gamble works because the Huskers lead at 13-10 in the second quarter. The big play of the game. The bad snap. Dan Wingard can't even get the punt off. He is snowed under by Florida State. Help setting up a three-yard run by fullback Cletus Jones. Blast in for the Seminoles. 17-13 lead. Fourth quarter now. Nebraska. Time running out fourth and six. Dan Turner back to pass. Uh, no, the pass hits his offensive lineman in the head. Needless to say, it was incomplete. Florida State pulls off the upset at Nebraska, winning today by a score of 17-13. to 13. Another intriguing matchup this, this Saturday. For the first time in five years, the Nebraska Cornhuskers don't appear to have the guns to challenge for the national title. Not only does Nebraska have to replace nearly all the starters from last year's third ranking, but Tom Osborne saw Florida State on the schedule to open the year, the Seminoles rolled into Lincoln with a chance to grab some glory and didn't bat an eye. 130 degrees on the field at Nebraska. It was that hot. Fourth play of the game, the Huskers started off with a bang. Tom Rathman ripped it right up the middle, untouched, went 55 yards. Nebraska led 7-0, and Husker fans said, oh, we might be that good. Florida State said, oh, no, you're not. Danny McManus led him right back down the field. Florida State's first possession, a little bump in the backfield, but Darren Holloman hauls it in, wide open, touchdown, 7-7. Looked like it'd be an offensive show. But then mistakes cost the Huskers. Actually, the punter was down. Dan Winger couldn't get the punt off. Florida State nailed him at the six, and a couple plays later was in for the touchdown. A three-yard run by Cletus Jones put the Seminoles up 17-13 right before the first half ended. That's how the game ended. These two offensive powers went into, like, hibernation in the second half. Nebraska had one last chance on fourth and six, but quarterback Travis Turner hit the helmet of an offensive lineman with a pass. It bounced harmlessly to the turf, and for the second time in their last three trips to Nebraska, Florida State has pulled a four-point upset of the, of the Huskers. So Nebraska and Maryland, seven and eight, both lose at home, opening day. Meanwhile, number 12, Illinois. Hey, everybody.